Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back to another Devs Play Slug It Out 2. I'm Mike, and with me, of course, is my good friend Danielle. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. How are you, Mike? I'm doing good. Awesome. And so today we are going to be answering a few of your questions out there. Yeah, as, as we answer questions, I'm just going to be playing through uh, story mode here. Let's start this off. When will you be adding Megamorphs to the game? Danielle. So we did post a video before teasing that Megamorphs will be coming to the game. That we did. They won't be in the next update, but they will be coming very, very soon. This is going to be a very special and big update, so we're going to spend a little bit more time on it just to make it extra awesome for everyone. All right, so the next question we got is, when will we be able to get elemental slugs in in-game chests? I know this is something that a lot of people have been asking, so Danielle, yeah. do you have an answer for this? Yeah, we've been reading a lot of comments and we've We've been understanding your frustrations where a lot of people want the elementals, but they, they don't want to pay, and that's completely understandable. So yes, we, we are going to be putting a, a chest in the game where you can win elemental slugs. It will be pretty low chance, but there is still that opportunity there to win them in a chest, which is really great. So stay tuned for that. All right, so someone asked, why doesn't the game have multiplayer, or will it ever get multiplayer? Yeah, as of right now, we don't have plans for multiplayer to be put in. That doesn't mean that it will never happen though. We definitely have seen a lot of people asking for it and we know that it was something that you all really like from Slug It Out 1, so definitely is something that we have considered. Um, will we ever get any other slugs in the game? Yes, absolutely. Always adding slugs. Yeah, we won't stop adding slugs. Uh, yeah, we have a few a few lined up that are going to be coming out this year. Um, Armashelt, and I will keep the other ones a secret, but yeah. Lots of exciting new content for 2018. Will you bring modes such as Slug Seeker from Slug It Out into Slug It Out 2? That's an interesting question. Yeah, we know that uh, from Slug It Out 1 that Slug Seeker was a very, very popular game mode and it was a fan favorite, so we've definitely thought about bringing it into Slug It Out 2. No promises as of right now, but uh, it definitely is been considered and, you know, never say never, but as of right now, there is no plans for it. I keep requesting a cool feature. Will you add it into the game? So I guess what this is asking is a lot of people ask for like a lot of different neat features that they'd like to see in the game. Are we, do we take uh, their feedback into account when trying to design an uh, update for the game, Daniel? Absolutely. Uh, this game is really driven by the community. Um, a lot of the times new features are implemented because we see people requesting them. So keep asking for, for specific features. We always read your comments on YouTube and Facebook and whatnot. So we do always take it into consideration. And a good example of this is our last update, we uh, released the Ghoul Elementals, and that's something that you you guys as fans had been asking us for a while. Yeah, so. exactly. What are our favorite slugs? Well, you all know who my favorite slug is. Mako Breaker, or Mako Breaker. Chompy. Of course, I can't say his name, but that's why I call him Chomps. <laughs> Daniel, what's your favorite slug? Or slugs? Um, I talk about Zed a lot, but I don't know. Zed is pretty cool. I know that like some people don't like him, <laughs> but I think Zed's cool. Uh, I also really like Piper. I think Piper has like a really cool design, and I thought that it was a cool slug for them to add into season four. And I'm glad that we were able to bring it into Slug It Out too. How many people work on Slug It Out too? So Slug It Out Two is actually a pretty small team. Um, we only have three people on it full time. So we have myself as the lead designer, and then we have uh, Stu, who is a lead programmer, and we have Juan, our artist. So that's that's our um, full time team. But we do have like Mike, who helps out with QA and uh, content creation. Uh, we have Dennis and Kelvin and 
Jen, um, and then we do have um, other people, but they are working on a, another IP that's in the works right now. Another fancy project. Yes. Uh, what software is our game made in? Um, I can answer this one. Our game is made in Unity. Yes. We use a lot of other software with Unity, but overall the game is it's made in Unity. And you've probably played a lot of games that are made in Unity. Yeah, you'd be surprised. A lot of games are made in Unity. Unity is a pretty awesome engine. All right, so our next question. Have you ever made any other games? We have made many other games. We've had some uh, name changes over the years, but it's mainly been the same people. Yeah. And so what games have we, we made, Danielle? I can't even remember all of them. Uh, well, we worked on the Deep games. So there's two games, the Sea of Shadows and Coral Craft. Ah. We worked on a bunch of the Slug Terra games. So Slug Sl Slinger Showdown, Guardian Force, and Slug It Out, which I know a lot of you are like... They're different people, but no, we actually are the exact same people, pretty much, that went from that to this one. And we also uh, worked on a game that we recently released called Massive Monster Mayhem. It's oh, pretty awesome. Very fun game. I recommend everyone download it. It's free on uh, Google Play Store and Apple's App Store. So when you're taking a break from slugging it out in Slug Terra, you should definitely try our new game, Massive Monster Mayhem Match. Yes. Our next question is, and our last question, unfortunately, but what are our favorite games? So my favorite video game is a series that most of you have probably never heard of. It's called Monkey Island. More specifically, the first game, The Secret of Monkey Island. It's a early 90s point and click adventure game that's filled with humor and it's about pirates. So that's my favorite video game. What about you, Danielle? I have a lot of games that I really, really like, but I think the, I guess like the franchise series that's been with me for my whole life is Warcraft, so Warcraft 2 and 3 are probably my favorite games, and uh, I still play World of Warcraft every day, so I guess that's probably my favorite game. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in to this episode of Devs Play Slug It Out 2. I hope we uh, answered a few of the questions you guys have been asking for a while now, and uh, we, we hope to answer more in the future, so stay tuned for that. Um, let us know in the comments if you have any other questions, maybe we'll answer it in another video someday, and thanks for watching everyone. Like that video? If so, the game is available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Make sure to like us on Facebook. And like this video if you like this type of Slug Terra video. And subscribe to get more frequent updates to when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching, guys. See, See you next time in Slug Terra. Terra.